So over time, we've talked to you about the creative process and what the steps of it are. And step one is you just got to ask and you can't stop doing that. Life just keeps you asking all the time. The contrast just keeps you asking. Even if you're not doing it with your words, you're asking at so many levels of your being. And that is what causes the evolution of all species. Life causes you to ask. It just does. And source takes care of step two altogether. Your inner being over there in this vibrational reality, this vibrational reality that is so real. We gave it the name, the vortex wrote a whole book about it because we wanted you to feel the realness of this reality that is vibrational, even though you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it. Doesn't feel that real. Well, so we wrote a book. The book's real. <laughs> Read the book, believe the book because this vibrational reality is real. So if you realize that this reality, this vibrational reality exists, even though you're standing over here doubting its realness because you can't see it, doubting its power because you can't smell it or hear it, then even though it is and it is attracting on your behalf, oh, it is attracting on your behalf to that non-physical version of you, the question is, what are you doing about being in the vibrational vicinity of what your inner being is attracting to itself on behalf of you? Do you hear all those words? Attracting for you, attracting for you everything that you want. But where are you in relationship to that? Over here doubting, over here complaining, over here wondering why it hasn't shown itself to you in real form. It would be like you putting a seed in the ground, it's corn, put it in the ground. You love that corn. Ooh, corn is so good to eat. You put it in the ground and then you go out there that afternoon and you say, all right already, show yourself to me. It's lunchtime. Stomping on the ground, throwing your little human fit. <laughs> I want you and I want you now, 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 now. But there is some gestation to happen, isn't there? There are some things to happen before you see it or hear it or smell it or touch it or taste it. In other words, there is a process and there is a gestation process in your vortex too. And we would like now to reveal to you for the first time how long that gestation process is. Ready? That long. That long. That long. That was too long. Esther cannot demonstrate what it is. That's way too long. That was too long too. Way, way, way too long. It's instantaneously. When you ask, it is immediately because the source within you becomes it. And all things, all cooperative components are there. So the question isn't how long does it take for it to become in the vortex? The question is how long does it take you to be ready for what you've put in the vortex? Because if you're complaining, you're not ready. And if you're doubting, you're not ready. So the length of time that it takes from your launching of a desire to your witnessing it in its full material form. How long does it take these thoughts to turn to your things? That's the big question. How long is it going to take for these thoughts to turn to the things I want? It only takes as long as it takes for your thoughts to turn to the things you want. Your consistent thoughts to turn to the thoughts about the things that you want. So when you find yourself talking about what you want in negative fashion, where is it? I've waited so long. It just isn't fair. I'm so uncomfortable. I want it, but it isn't here. Those words are your indication. Those are manifestations of a different evolution of a different thought. So in our desire to help you feel the realness of this vibrational reality, we named it, wrote a book about it. And we said to you, until you could hardly bear to hear it again, just get into the vortex. Just get into the vortex where everything you want is and you'll see then everything you want. And you said, Abraham, stop spraying frou-frou dust all over us. Can't we talk about something that is real? And we say, it's real. You've just got to develop your sensors to understand that it is. And then you became suspicious. Oh yeah, we get it. You just want us to be happy in the absence of what we want by pretending that it really is over there. And we said, yes, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. We want you to be happy in the absence of what you want, in the absence of its manifestation. Because we know that in your happiness anyway, in your expectation of it anyway, in your trust of the vibration of it that you can feel with your emotions, even though you can't see it with your other senses, in your belief that it is there, not only will it be, 
But the fun in which it reveals itself to you, the pleasure of manifestation. Friends, that's what you came for. You came for the pleasure of manifestation. You came as creative genius to sift through this environment and come to your own clarity about what you want, not what somebody else wants, not what your family wants or your village wants or your culture wants, not what somebody else wants, what you want. You are the creator of your own experience and you get to choose what you want. And when you do choose what you want, you've got to fully commit to the choosing of it. You've got to feel it as if it already is or it cannot be, you see. So here's this vortex. And you listen to us. You read the book, some of you. You read the book. It's a really good book. You read the book. You read the book. You began to believe. And then... You heard us say again and again, get into the vortex, get into the vortex, get into the vortex, get into the vortex. And then you began saying, Abraham, all right already. Just tell me, how do I get my money out of the vortex and into the bank? How does this vibrational reality become something that I can spend, something that I can really count on, something that others can see, something that somebody besides me believes when's it going to be tangible and so instead of asking you to get into the vortex which is just such a lovely place to be we know we're in your vortex and it's delightful you are going to be so pleased with yourself about what you've put there enough to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes really joyfully busy so good in here we think we'll just stay in your vortex and leave you alone today <laughs> goodbye how do I get this vibrational reality to be the kind of reality that I really want the tangible one the one that I feel like I've come here to live and we say it's much simpler than you think you just have to become even though you're not in the vortex you have to become closer and closer and closer to what is in it you have to believe rather than doubt you have to feel exhilaration rather than sadness you have to love rather than hate. You have to be a vibrational match to what's in it and who's in it. You have to be a vibrational match to the source energy who is there, you see. And so now rather than asking you to get into the vortex, which seemed to stretch your mind further than you were able, we're now saying to you, become a vibrational match to what's in there and what's in there will come out where you are. How do I turn the thoughts and the vibrations and the energy of the vortex into the physical equivalent? Well, you just line up with it. What we mean by that is, let's say you want $100,000 and you want it now. Or make it $200,000 or $300,000 or a million or whatever it is that you want. Choose it. It's yours. If we were standing in your shoes, we would choose big. You don't choose big because the bigger it is, the more you doubt it, which is just foolish given what we've just told you it doesn't matter how big it is if you believe it it will be it is as easy to create a castle as a button it's just a matter of wanting it and not blocking it with doubtful thoughts and the reason that you think buttons are easier is because you don't doubt the buttons you don't push against the button thoughts so much you look around there's buttons everywhere buttons everywhere everybody's got a button there's buttons everywhere there's boxes of buttons buttons on the floor buttons buttons everywhere buttons 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 I don't doubt buttons I know I can have buttons I just don't want buttons anymore I don't really want any buttons I want a fortune I want a fortune I want a castle I want magnificent things. Well, it is as easy to create magnificent things as the things that you deem insignificant. But what you must do in either case is not doubt them. So if you don't doubt the insignificant things, they come easily. But the significant things you say, oh, I have this issue. I have this issue that I want to talk about. And we usually say to you, that's the last thing that we are going to make any progress on because since it's your issue, it means you've practiced vibrations against it, which means it is not likely, even though we offer perfect words and give you exact answers to every question, every time, no matter what, you can't hear them if you're not in the vibrational vicinity of them, you see. So let's say you want $100,000 and you want it, want it, need it, want it, need it. You want it and you want it to come quickly. And your logic tells you, it's probably not going to come today. In fact, your logic might tell you it's probably not going to come this week or this month or even this year. Because your logic is coming from what you've experienced before. And it's hard for you to let go of what has been and expect something new and different. So we're wanting you to, instead of needing the money in order to be happy, and we know you would be, because 
it's easy to have a conditional response to good news isn't it your banker calls you got good news hundred thousand dollars was deposited in your account today and your feeling response would be this is a very good thing you might even jump up and down a little bit your enthusiasm would be easy to observe but when we tell you that there is a hundred thousand dollars and more in your vortex you don't jump up and down even though it is as real because you want to translate it with your physical senses we want you to translate it emotionally so this is a very important key if you can accept that all that you want is in your vortex and you can reach for the feeling place of it what does the money mean the hundred thousand or the million or more what does it mean what would it mean to you in feeling terms what would that mean would it mean stability would it come out and play with us would it mean stability and what does stability feel like stability feels like freedom like ease it feels like fun but stability is one thing fun is another thing freedom is another thing so let's just explore all of them stability feels like confidence feels like sureness it feels like steady doesn't it and freedom feels like exhilaration it feels like free flowing it feels like give us words for freedom what does freedom feel like freedom choices no boundaries is what the absence of freedom doesn't feel like when you say it feels like no boundaries or feels like freedom from bondage that's not really getting the vibrational essence of it but when you say freedom feels like maybe there aren't even any words but can you find the feeling of freedom so you wake up you've got all this money what's the first thing that comes to your mind under those conditions choices choices to do what choices to do what choices to please yourself yes choices to be what you want to be and do what you want to do and go where you want to go and have what you want to have that freedom to be that freedom that you are born being that freedom that you innately are that freedom that your inner being is standing in the middle of your vortex gathering all of the cooperative components that will flesh out to evidence that feeling of freedom to you so now we've done a pretty good job of feeling what freedom feels like and so for a while you are floating around in the vicinity or inside your vortex you are in the receptive mode of it and if you maintain that then you know what happens with the thoughts that have already turned those energies and vibrations that have already turned to those thoughts that you just spoke to us you already began the creative process you already started turning those vibrations to thoughts and those thoughts to things just with this conversation that we've just had by the time you are shouting out the feeling of freedom freedom and you have captured the vibrational essence of what that means to you can you feel the momentum of what you've got going on and the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to get a thought about something a thought or an impulse they're the same thing in other words a feeling a strong feeling an urge to do something because those thoughts are going to continue to turn to things and you know what else the cooperative components that your inner being has already gathered that law of attraction has gathered that are there with your inner being all those people that you're looking for who will dovetail and help you along the way to what you want they are lining up out there in your what you want to call future experience we want to call it your now experience they're lining up for your discovery for your realization for your witnessing of them